Hi Felters and welcome. Have you ever struggled to find exactly the right colour for the project that you were doing, whether it be a cat, a dog, a horse, or even a 2D felt, a flat picture, maybe an evening sunrise, maybe the sea, maybe some green fields and moss? Well, I'm going to show you a range of colours that I use that I think are really good because there's over 79 colours and they're really harmonious. So let me show you them. <laughs> So here they are, this is only about half of the range. They are dye, uh, DHG wools from the Dye House Gallery in Tuscany. The wool is uh, Maori Carded Bats is the exact name of it and it's from Claire's Crafts Creates. So the wool is New Zealand wool and it is musling or musling free, I don't know how you say that. And they have um, a fantastic range, even if you look just in the greens, um, they have about 12 colours within the greens. There's about 12 colours within the reds. Like I said, I don't have all of them. There's over 79. Uh, there's another 12 in the blues. Um, so these little sample um, egg boxes, which is great because there's no plastic. They are five grams of 12 colours you can get. So that's two egg boxes worth. And at the moment, they're £10. So that's just a sample uh, price for you. And it's quite nice to have a load of samples. But these really are excellent wools. They are quite soft. Here I am, I'm going to be making just a little ball and on one side I'm going to be making it really as hard and as firm as possible just to show you it. The skin colour tones, they've got a sort of 12 skin colour tones and I've done a separate video on that, I'll link it above now. But just to show you, it's a short length fibre, so it's carded obviously. The thickness of the wool is 27 microns, so that's fairly thin, it's pretty good. And all the names are in the top of the egg box. So when you get these, if you wanted samples like this, so you get two egg boxes, five grams of each color, 12 colors in all for about 10 pounds at the moment. Just to sort of run through some of the colors and how useful they would be, especially for if you were doing 2D pictures, um, layering them up, they harmonize together really, really well. Now I know, um, I don't know her work that well, but Danny Ives, um, uses them for her pictures so that's fantastic and I also know Anna Potapova uses uh, some of them especially in her workshop ones with the dolls we'll show you the colour in a minute but look how easy it is to get an, an instant sort of sunset there and this is like I said this is just six of the range of the 12 so imagine getting 12 blues that would be fantastic you could get a really beautiful uh, sea colour or um, you know a lake or a water whatever you were doing so I'm just layering them up briefly just to sort of show you the effect and how the colours go together really, really well. So I use them in, in particular for my horses because it's quite hard to find exact colours for what I need. I'll show you one of my horses in a bit because the browns, there's again, there's 12 ranges of browns. Um, even the greys, they're, they're fairly good with the greys. There aren't tons, there's at least sort of five or six greys. So that's quite helpful when you're doing uh, grey horses. But here we are with the greens um, and imagine another six of the greens as well. Re really beautiful colours. So there we go. Now they also have another range which is the extra fine merino bat 19 microns. So it's super soft and again they're carded. Um, so we'll do a little bit at the end with that. They don't have as many colours, but you can order this sample card. I think it's only a couple of pounds. And then you can exactly see the colours and then they added more because obviously they've produced more. The Die House Gallery um, are very consistent with their colours and there's very little uh, vegetable matter in it, very little pieces of straw, what have you. So on one side, um, I've so I just did the ball with the 38 triangular and then I've done one half of it with my new favourite needle, if you'd have seen my last video, the 42 gauge triangular. Um, so I've gone over it and it's just trying to work towards getting that really smooth finish that we all want to do. And so um, I'm going to carry on and finish the rest of the ball and just um, show you as I finish it. And then we're going to look at using the crown needle on it and whether that helped as well. So there we go, just going through it. So I've finished the whole ball here and I'm really pleased, really hard. It's, you know, when people say it's tennis ball hard, it is hard. Um, and it really, it took me about 40 minutes to get this ball done for, for the video. 
so I tried the 42 crown on it and didn't see that much of a difference um, I also tried the 46 but I just didn't think it was going anywhere so I tried some of the um, extra fine merino wool so acacia is the skin colour that is used on a lot of dolls and I sort of I thought would the crowns help with that and so I felted that on and actually so if you just use um, I think this was the 42 and you can still see a, f a few of the needle marks it's a lot softer the wool when you touch it it's really luxurious it's really really nice the extra fine um, and the 46 crown actually did make a difference with it and I, I feel it worked a lot lot better so the crown really works with the finest of wools so there we go so and there was a big difference in the feeling and you could just sort of use a lint remover over the top but yeah absolutely you know I think they're fantastic walls for the colour range so here's one of the horses that I did with it so it was um sort of a liver chestnut and the body's one colour then the legs fade to a different colour and then to another colour further down but yeah I just found them really really useful um, to be able to get the colour I saw in the picture of the horse so definitely think about ordering some of the samples because you get quite a lot of wool so you could have a good play around with it but yeah fantastic imagine doing a baby mobile in a range of colours or a rainbow but yeah really good wools I really hope that helped felters and as I said I'm not affiliated to Claire's Crafts Create I just really really like the range of wools that she has especially the DHG carded wools um, if you enjoyed this video, you're going to really enjoy this one, which is about specialist needles. Uh, do have a look through and it'll help you again working towards that smooth finish. Do subscribe and press the notification bell because next week I'm going to be doing another one of these and we're getting ready for Halloween. So if you press the notifications, you'll know when my video comes out. Thanks for watching everybody and see you again soon.